Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to do a tool review. Um, so I've actually already used it a couple times. So this thing has bailed me out and I recommend anybody to get a tool like this. Not necessarily this tool. Um, it's just a tire inflator. So uh, this one is actually quite small. Um, pretty straightforward. I got this off of uh, AliExpress, but... Um, you can also get it from Amazon or whatever. Um, like I said, all my videos, I'm not sponsored by anybody. So uh, this is just uh, something that if you guys are interested in looking at or if you guys are looking in this market, um, this is one that I can recommend to you guys. So it's made by this company, uh, Basis. Uh, it's basically uh, just very small little tire inflator. So it comes with a bunch of tips here. I think I've taken them out of the box uh, but anyways so you can fill up like a basketball obviously a car tire and that's what we're gonna do here um, and it does PSI as well as like a bar uh, reading and uh, or bar pressure and so all you have to do is you set your tire pressure to whatever you want it to go to um, so one of my tires I believe it's leaking so you what you would do is set your tire pressure first whatever it is so one thing before we start um, showing how this thing works is this tire pressure gauge on the machine itself is not very good also this part here is uh, kind of flimsy I was looking to replace this um, with a better uh, type of material or a better kind of uh, clip but this thing inside is plastic I believe so it's probably not gonna last super long um, I paid $23 for this thing, but it's pretty straightforward. Uh, so like I said, you set your tire pressure to whatever you want it to be. Um, and I always set it a little higher because I use my tire gauge, but my tire gauge also sucks too. But but anyways, uh, and then once you get it set, and then we push power, and then um, you can see how it works. I'm going to demonstrate it on one of my tires right now, and then uh, you can see how long it takes to fill up to that pressure. I believe right now it's about 30 some. And I'm going to be inflating it to, um, according to this, it will be like 40, but uh, 41. But it's not going to be 41. It's going to be somewhere around like 37 or so when it finishes. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how it works. And it's very straightforward. If you guys are interested in something like this, I recommend you getting something like this in case of an emergency. It's always good to have a tire pressure inflator uh, rather than always waiting for a tow truck or something like that to come and get you. Uh, so let's go outside and check it out. All right, guys. So this is a 12 volt version. Um, they do have a battery version, um, but I picked the 12 volt only because the battery version claims that it can only hold for maybe three tire pressure, uh, three Phillips. So it's a little harder to do it with one hand. And then, so I connected it and just hit. Power.
sweet. So the auto shuts off. Uh, we're gonna take the pressure. Uh, so it's actually pretty accurate. So I'm gonna have to release some pressure. I'll do that afterwards. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna go back in the car. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so that's this thing right here. Uh, this basis uh, tire pressure inflator. Um, I don't really have a link for you guys. Uh, I'll search my order history and see if I can pull it up. But anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. Very straightforward, very easy, and I believe it's very good to have in case of an emergency. Um, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be this model, but uh, any kind of um, mini air pump in case of an emergency, it's always good to have one in your car as well as, like I said, a jumper pack in my older video. It was just kind of a, a while back. But anyways, so that's it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Like, share, subscribe.